Well, a key constituency for the candidates, of course, America's farmers. ABC's Kana Whitworth in Iowa, as we hear from farmers still divided on who to vote for. Lindsay Larson has been harvesting this land in Iowa for 40 years. In August, he lost half of his corn to a massive storm. I know that we've just gone through one of our worst harvests in 2020, but I'm already starting to make plans for 2021. The lifelong Republican farmer among the crucial base the president won in 2016 and is now relying on for a second term. The farmers are unbelievable. They're the heart of this nation. But U.S. farmers have been left reeling from the president's trade deals, devastating weather, and COVID-19. The federal government pumping more than $37 billion in aid to American farmers. In fact, some people say our farmers do better now than they did when they actually had a farm. <laughs> the aid uh, was far from what the pain was, but the pain sometimes is necessary to get to an agreement where we can feel like we can go forward. Supporting Trump's trade policies, Larson voted for him again. But the pain across the Midwest continues. Wisconsin losing 10% of their dairy farms in the last year. COVID cases there surging. I guess I've always wanted to be a farmer. In Iowa, Mike Holden, a third generation farmer, has already cast his ballot for Biden. The money that the Trump administration then gave to farmers in Iowa to keep them afloat was welcomed, but not enough. Yeah, it doesn't make up for the losses we had. It certainly softens the blow. The bailouts, not enough for him to overlook what he views as failed leadership and a lack of civility in the White House. I think he's uh, dangerously reckless. I think he's brutally insensitive and uh, disrespectful.